What's going on, guys? It is Pwn here. I'm bringing you a nice little gameplay on Havana. 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 I, I hate that word. I don't know what it is, but I hate that word. So I run off here right off the bat, take an objective. Let me guess. Toss an 8 over top. It's been a while since I played this. Oh, uh, look. Shit doesn't change. Um, That's what it is. You guys got to find a pattern. You got to stick to it. And you can become successful. Um, you got to always worry about what's going on. And I always try to keep a little lockdown on B because that's obviously one of the most difficult areas to cover down. Uh, pay attention to your claymores, your surroundings, everything like that, because Havana could be a bitch to take B, but if you do it properly, you cover and you, uh, you know, suppress them off B, which isn't an easy task, it really isn't, this is one of the most difficult maps to actually keep people off of the actual objective, like B, it's really kind of a bitch, but, you know, I'm using AK-47 uh, Silenced, I believe I'm rocking unusual streaks for you guys to see me use, and that is the UAV, the Blackbird, and the Dogs, and the reason being is Havana really kind of sucks for the Chopper Gunner, even on PS3 where they don't really shoot it down near as much as 360, it's really just not a good map for the Chopper Gunner. So, you know, me having time to actually think about it and switch the streaks up turned out successful, I get doggies right here off the start, makes, 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 makes a fun gameplay. Now, phone, phone, phone. Come on. I, I, I'm buying a new phone soon, guys. As soon as I get some money, I need to get like a Blackberry or something. So we'll have a new ringtone. How are you guys going to adjust to that crazy little phone? Shut up, phone. So the only downfall to having gameplays like this, because these are the only streaks I use over on Xbox, unless I'm rocking low streaks like the UAV counter, UAV napalm. The only difference being is when I use these streaks on Xbox, because they do shoot down air support a lot quicker on Xbox. Sometimes you find them, they don't. But you know, most of the time they do. They're a little quicker on that. So I almost always use dogs instead of gunner on that. So, you know, that's kind of a, it's kind of a poopy in my face because sometimes the gameplays can be 10 minutes long and I like them closer to 7 or 8 minutes. So, you know, let me know what you guys think about that. Would you guys be opposed to watching, you know, a couple of Xbox gameplays? I think I got a couple decent rushing ones like an MP5K and a an Mac 11 one. You know, the scores aren't the best in the world, but I think I think they're entertaining to watch and that's all it comes down to, okay? Somebody needs to make that bed. That's fucking nasty. That's that is dirty. It's totally, totally fucking sex went down in that room. Just saying. I just noticed that unusually. And of course, when when all else fails, people are like, "Why, Pwn? Why don't you use Why don't you use scavenger and you can keep using your gun?" It's because all I got to do is walk over one dead body and pick up a 74U. That's what I got to do. I mean, it's not like I'm handicapping myself by running out of ammo. You pay attention to your ammo and you just walk over any dead body and pick up the 74U. Fortunately, this time I got the grip, and I also got claymore. 74 you can't save you from that shit, but, you know. But I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me recently. Um, I, I'm actually happy that I see some uh, more of you guys actually watching my videos on a more consistent basis. I'm actually excited. I don't know if it's because I've not been bitching as much or because I'm actually talking about, you know, useful things now <laughs> instead of, like, updates. But uh, some, something, something's been happening, and... You know, I think this was a pretty good gameplay. It's been a while since I played this, but I'm sitting here watching it like you guys, and I'm, I'm, my reaction time's pretty good. Maybe I was pissed off from the game before. I don't know what it is. I'm going hard, so I don't know. But uh, after the video I dropped yesterday, many of my subscribers are saying, Hey, Pwn, I want to see you play TryHard. I want to see what you do. I want to see how well you do. And uh, now that's going to come down to you guys. I play TryHard in two senses. Um, you guys never see me do it because I find it boring uh, in one of them, and I find it difficult to get good gameplay in the other. So I'll give you my two purposes So when I do a uh, hardcore game, when I'm playing to actually play, when I'm playing and, you know, not just goofing around or not giving a fuck, which is how I usually, every video you've seen before the video last night, was basically I don't give a fuck kind of uh, a kind of a moment. And uh, if I play really hard or successful, I, I might pick up more kills and, and, and less deaths, but, you know, like that stuff doesn't matter to me. But if you guys want to see more of that, feel free to... Just ask, and, and the difference is being is I can rush really hard and get quick reflexes, but I can run in a room instead of picking up two and dying once. I can pick up four or five and die once. Um, it'll look stupid for me rushing in that room and taking them guys out, but I, I pay a little bit more attention than usual. Um, you know, I typically just outthink. I actually pay more attention when I'm trying, when I'm pissed off, or when I'm wanting to win. And then um, when it comes down to it, I have a... Uh, I have like a a thing where you see many of these other successful gamers they they don't I can't say that they don't rush they're mobile but I don't see them rushing rushing in my mind is running out there in a pile of guys um catching them off guard getting somewhere before they do is kind of uh is not the smartest way to play it's my favorite way to play but it's definitely not smart so when I see people like Fear Crads Mark J and these guys play smart um, it's successful. It's the best way to play. It's it's great if you guys want to learn how to play to watch these guys. I just don't play it because it's it's 
boring for me. I like to actually be right up in the spawn. I'd rather get three kills and, and die, or two kills and die, than wait and get five kills before even coming close to dying. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion on it. I can play like that if you guys want me to, where I can hop in a ground war and go like 80 and 2 and stuff like that often by just, you know, paying attention to the surroundings and being patient with the kill streaks and stuff. But uh, I just never find that fun to me. So I don't know. If you guys actually would like to see me do that, I'm I'm more than capable of doing it. It's just not my thing. I mean, would you guys like to see where I'm always rushing around like this, not afraid to jump into any sort of hole, running down the middle of the street, just like now, phone? It's really getting irritating, okay? It really is. So, you know, I have these moments. I wouldn't play near as aggressive as I as I do like, as you guys have been seeing today, this is just me playing and playing and getting them in a spawn lock. Obviously, I don't want to get any closer to the objective because, obviously, a 74U at distance always beats out an AK-47. I mean, come on. It's common sense, guys. Pwn, what were you thinking? See, that's a mistake right there. See? <laughs> oh, God. I love I love Black Ops. I love it. So, you know, don't ever be afraid to use cover. Don't ever be afraid to go prone if you need to be. Surprise and outthinking is what wins you battles. Gun skill is something you learn over time, but if you are new to the game or trying to up upgrade and get your uh, your kill death up or anything like that, obviously gun skill does not come overnight. That is something with experience and trying and trial and ups and downs and any other sort of crazy positions you can think of. Basically, what it comes down to is is out thinking. You got to start thinking and using that UAV more. The two biggest mistakes I see people use when they play the game and make mistakes is they don't fully use and uh, the concussion grenades if they need to be. Like you see right there, uh, there could have been a guy up there. I didn't know there were two guys down below. Why couldn't there have been one up in that building? I used that nade just in case. If I'd have seen a hit mark, I'd have known one was up there or at least a claymore. So never be afraid to use those concussion gra grenades. And especially knowing as how I walked up in a building one of those earlier and got claymore, it was a very reasonable possibility that I could have got Claymore there. So that's what I was thinking. So many people forget to use those secondary grenades. They're not only used to stun people, but they're also used to alert yourself of uh, kill streaks and not kill streaks, but camper streaks. That's it. The camper little guys. And <laughs> nice way to get a dog, right? So, uh, oh, the FAMAS. Okay, so it's not always the 74U. There is sometimes a FAMAS hole. That's cool. And, ow, that hurt. But, go Cujos. I love, I love these skill streak setup, but like I said, the only downfall is that. And uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I've been trying to help you guys become better gamers and teach you things. And you know, whether it's just tips with your mood or something, something that I don't see people typically encouraging you guys to do. And if it's not you guys learning to use your concussion grenades like that, which slowed down his vision and view, which probably stopped him from killing me right there, even though he has the heads up on me zoomed in on the door. That concussion grenade just not only saved my life, but it gave me enough time to kill him. So use those secondaries. And the other big mistake that I see people make is they don't fully use uh, helpful kill streaks. The two most helpful kill streaks in this game are UAV and, and, and Blackbird. Not only do they help you, they help your team out too. So, you know, it's quite often, even though, you know, sometimes there's a fair amount of ghost, it's always a good idea to know where the, the, the majority of the other team is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get back to me.